Hello everyone and welcome to the hour long Battle Cats video! You wanted it guys and you're gonna get it. First of all, I just want to say thank you not only for watching this video but just for watching all my Battle Cats videos. Obviously it's a very successful series on my channel and I appreciate you guys understanding that I'm not actually that great at the game and I just want to have some fun, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's all about having some fun. Today guys, we have a goal. And it might take a while to reach it, but that's why I've given myself an hour to do it. Uh, and just to let you know, I may actually um, have to record some more, say, tomorrow. Because what happens is um, I record a video, and then I see how long it is afterwards. I can't really tell how long a video is going to be, unless I don't do any jump cuts. If I had to go for a full hour with no cuts, then it would be easy to know what's going to be an hour. But... There might be, you know, I might be a little bit over, a little bit under. If it's over, I just edit it out. If it's under, I'll have to add a little bit more in. So, yeah. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll see. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to try and clear St. Red Fox. Now, this was actually suggested to me by Reggit. He was like, hey, Matt, it'd be a cool idea to uh, go on, like, a quest to get St. Red Fox. No, to get Lil Neandum. That's the name of them. Go on a quest to get him and uh, do it in a hour-long Battle Cats video. So, yeah, you guys really wanted to see this. I've been seeing the comments, the memes, guys. And I gotta say, this is a much better um, a much better game to do an hour-long video in than Duck Life is. Okay, the Duck Life one was hard to do. This one's gonna be easy because, uh, you know, I can, I, I can play Battle Cats for as long as I want, and there's always stuff to do. It doesn't really get that repetitive unless there's going to be a stage I can't really beat, and let's hope it's not going to be too bad in that front. Okay, so we need to get that stage clear reward too, so let's go. All right, you guys are going to see something crazy right now. Okay, look up there. I have 24 and a half million experience points. I mentioned in the last video how I wanted to take some treasure radars, go into the celebration event, use the treasure radar to get a million XP every time. And the stage that I was doing, that one was the easiest celebration stage out of all of them. So all I had to do was slap on a treasure radar, slap on a cat CPU, and it would do it by itself. And I think I farmed like 10 million XP or more while I was editing the video that went up uh, last Sunday. So that was good. I got a lot of cat food. I actually bought it myself so that I would, uh, you know, I, I wanted to invest in the video and I wanted to make sure I had lots of XP in case I needed to level anyone up and such. So let's open up some cat capsules first. Usually I, I like to cut this stuff down a little bit because of the fact that it is pretty long, you know, watching all the stuff open up. But we got lots of, uh, we got lots of time to kill here. So, all right, we got a tank cat. I'll take that. So we're plus 11. I've seen people like plus 50 and more, uh, you know, plus 80 on these things. Uh, I know it requires a lot of dedication to do that, and sometimes I don't always have that dedication because, you know, Battle Cats isn't the only thing I'm making videos on. If I was doing like, you know, seven videos a week on Battle Cats or something, daily Battle Cats uploads, that would be different. But it's not the main focus of my channel. It's just a series that does really well and people enjoy, and... If you don't have at least one series that people are going to want to watch all the time, then it gets kind of boring being a YouTuber, you know? Okay, I have one of these. I've already got lots of Almighties. My first Uber ever was Zeus. I got a Matarazzu. I got Aphrodite. They're all great, okay? I would love to get Poseidon. I hear he's pretty good as well, but let's just see if I got any luck today. I don't think I'm going to have that much luck. Oh, okay. It's a super rare. I mean, that's... Kind of lucky, I suppose, but I already got this guy. Swimmer cat! Yeah, butterfly cat. 13 plus 3 on that one. Okay. So I'm not actually sure how close we are to St. Red Fox. All right. I just know that we're getting there. Uh, what else is available today? Facing danger. I haven't completed that one. That one's actually about to go away, so why don't we just give it a try? Let's check it out. Steel Visage. Okay, this is the guy with the... This is the one with the red guy, right? I actually have a... Uh, an, an apple in my loadout right now. I guess we can just go and give it a try. We'll see what happens. All right. Mm. How we doing for time? Oh, it's been like five minutes. <laughs> okay. So what do I have to do first? What should I do? I think he just pops out after a little bit, right? I've seen a strategy where you just send out uh, Awakened Bahamut, I think. Is that the stage that you can do that in? Some guy on the uh, Battle Cats Facebook group that I'm in showed his strategy for that, and it was pretty cool. Yeah, he just, he just sent him in and just destroyed him. I'm just gonna do it. Here we go. This is not gonna work. Yeah, because there's one left now. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to level up once. Just kind of wanted to check this thing out and see how it was gonna go. Is this a no continue stage? 
It's probably a no continue stage, eh? Which kind of sucks. Ooh. Crap. Just, look, here's the thing. Okay, I'm looking at this on a screen. As you guys can tell, I'm looking over here, but my iPad is right here. Sometimes I miss buttons because I'm not actually looking where I'm tapping. That one's not good. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know how that would. Um, I don't know how that would be done. Well, it's funny because there was only one HP left on the um, left on the on the base. So I don't know if maybe you could possibly get Awaken Bahamut in there, smack him, and then do a ranged attack. But I think this guy moves too quick for that. By the time you move back, he would be blocking the way. So whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna focus on that. There's not enough time for me to even get a strat for this. Even if I looked it up, it would take me a few minutes to read through all the information, and by that time, I'd only have a few minutes left to even try it. But that's not the. That's not the focus for the video anyway. Dead and night is the focus for the video right now. Feasts of betrayal. Ooh, sounds lovely. Hmm. I don't know what to have on here now. All I know is there's gonna be anti. Uh, you're gonna need anti floating. And probably um, resistant to shockwaves, because those are the two things that we're getting a lot of now. Like birds flying at you. That's happening a whole bunch. So, why don't we go and get... Uh, which which one is it? I think Kaiji eventually is immune to shock shockwaves, right? But not yet. But we have um, Sodom. Sodom is knockback and... Um, Wait, might knock back slash resistant to floating. Okay, he can knock back floating. He's also resistant to floating. But what about the... Here we go. Resist knockback. Okay. Enemy attacks will not cause this unit to be knocked back. Okay, wait a minute. So so he can knock back and he's resistant. But also he's resistant to knock back. That gets kind of confusing, doesn't it? Okay, whatever. We'll put him in. I'm going to keep uh, Megadora because he's important here. And I don't know. Amaterasu's always good. But I'll leave her out for now so we can try this out. And, um, hmm, let's go with another anti-floating as well. I actually really like Doctor, okay? Because we, um, I actually, like, leveled up Doctor in a video. I wasn't planning on it, but then I was like, oh, so, you, so, you, so I should have him? He might knock back. He's got a quick attack. He's pretty good for that stuff, so I will stick him in. And I probably don't need to have the giraffe here. I was just trying to burn through some levels, you know? So, um, let's actually upgrade him to level 30. Because, I mean, it's always nice to have a fully upgraded cat. I don't really care much about the Ubers fully upgrading them because they're not always the most important thing in the strategy. But, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Since I have 24 and a half million experience, I might as well get this guy up. It's not going to put much of a dent in my uh, in my experience. No, I only have 23.7 million now. What am I going to do? Okay, we're good. Pride means nothing when it comes to matters of the heart. That's so, so philosophical. Thank you so much. All right, Feast of Betrayal. Let's give it a try. Lots of cat food, so I got lots of uh, energy that can be restored. No big deal there. What's up? Okay, we got some dudes. Look, this, uh, you don't scare me. What do you think? I'm going to start sending out people yet? Yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to send out a giraffe, okay? He's going to plow through them. And it's probably going to be a bad idea because after we plow through them... Oh, that's a robot! Shit. Oh, I don't I don't have any I don't have any robot things going on right now. I guess I will spam the uh, spam the giraffes in hope that I can take out some of these robots. They got a they got a good knockback on them, don't they? We knocked them back too. I don't think these guys have that much health, you know? I seem to be able to take them out even without having an anti-metal unit without too much trouble. So, oh jeez. You guys you're going to give me at least some money soon, right? Okay, we're taking those guys out. Look at that. Okay. So, I don't know when I should stop leveling up. I think it's probably good here. 13 and a half thousand. If I get there, then I will obviously level up again. But I don't expect to get that that much um, that much money. Because I'm going to send some things out. Like, I'm going to send Sodom out here now. You know, because he's he takes forever. He's super slow. Come on, dude. Move. <laughs> Alright, we're running low. We're running low on our front line here. Because I'm not really paying attention. And look at all those robots. It's okay. Because when you kill them, you get a lot of money. Hmm. Good stuff. Alrighty. Guys, it is a little bit weird recording a video and trying to make it long. Okay, that's not usually my strategy. My videos always end up coming out to be like 20 something minutes long, but it's only because I record for like 40 something minutes and I try really hard to actually get decent content. And you might not realize that sometimes when you watch my videos, but it is true. <laughs> oh god, I don't like these hyenas. I wish I had uh, some good range here. You know, we'll see. If we can if we can get the other things out of the way, we could probably get Awaken Bahamut to do a little something in here. But it's kind of taking some time. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, he's still there in the front, damn it. 
Come on! Shit! The, the little robot dude is always there, and we're trying to get through so Wake and Bahamut can get him! Okay, so we're gonna need something. I really like Hurricat, actually. Hurricat's a really good guy when it comes to um, anti-metal, because they, they hit really fast. But obviously, it depends on how fast they actually, or how often, they do critical hits as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the best strategy is for these guys, or what, like, the best cat is. I like, I like Catsaurus a lot, as you already know. Um, okay, so this not going too well here, is it? Let me just start spamming stuff, okay? I'm just gonna send it everything I got. I don't see why not. Might even put some cat CPUs on at some point, you know, because I've got lots of, uh, got lots of, lots of cat food. I think, uh, you get 20 cat CPUs for like 120 cat food, so it's a pretty good deal. Okay, so we're knocking some stuff back, which is nice. Megadora obviously has a bit of range on him, which is good. So if we can, if we can knock him back enough, we can kill him. I've always wondered, like, as you can see, Megadora is doing a good job of knocking him back, but Megadora is, um, he's supposed to be just good at knocking back floating. So does he still have a better chance of knocking back regular things as well? I mean, they get knocked back when they lose a certain amount of health, right? You lose a certain amount of health, then you get knocked back, and you can do that, and then you get knocked back like a couple times depending on the unit, and then they're done for. So I'm, uh, I'm just I'm a little bit curious. I think it'd be a great time to actually send out Bahamut, but unfortunately, I don't have the money for it, and now these guys are back again. So I do need some drafts and some meat shields. And we can do it. Don't worry, guys. I haven't lost faith in you yet. You know? And, and Megadora is still alive, which is nice. But we need we need something. We need we need a, a little bit of a, a miracle here, perhaps. Or do we need maybe some patience? You know? If we get, Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, shit. Did you really? Okay, I got some. I killed some. There goes Awakened Bahamut, but of course, if we manage to kill a couple of these guys, that's good. If we can take them out quicker than they can come about, that would be nice. I don't know if you just heard my Canadian coming through a little bit. About. I don't even know how to say about properly, okay? I can't even do it. It just sounds weird. About. About. I just say about. About. And it doesn't sound that weird to me, because obviously I'm used to saying about. But, hey, people make fun of me for it. People make fun of me for the way I say sorry as well. Hey guys, look, you wanna know something here? I mean, while we're here making this video and stuff, I was actually talking about this the other day with one of my buddies, and then today was the perfect example of it. They say Canadians are really nice, right? They say Canadians are super polite, and they say sorry a lot. And um, it's not just a stereotype, okay? Uh, the best way to actually see this in action is to go to like a grocery store and just mildly inconvenience a Canadian Okay, they will apologize to you. It's it's weird But it's, it's not it's not really weird for me because I'm so used to it But you'll probably find it weird like if you if you say stand in an aisle and someone wants to get around you with a shopping cart or something You'll probably both end up saying sorry if you're if you're both Canadian <laughs> It's like, oh, sorry, I'm in your way, and they're like, oh, sorry for making you get out of my way, you know? Sorry that you are inconveniencing me. It's a weird situation, but it just feels so natural, and it feels so friendly, you know? It's just like, you don't have to feel guilty for stuff. You don't have to, you don't have to, I don't know, get angry at people and be all like, oh, you're, you're getting on my nerves, therefore I'm not gonna say sorry. It's just, you just do it. You just say, you say sorry, you apologize, and life goes on, and everyone feels good. Nobody has to feel bad. It doesn't have to ruin your day if someone gets in the way at the, at the supermarket, you know? This is taking a long time, but as you can see, it's kind of working. Should I just maybe shut up until the end of this one, guys? I don't want you to like, get bored and switch off the video. Like, you know, oh, Matt's trying to make this video an hour long, therefore he's fluffing it up with bullshit. I just thought it was an interesting thing. I didn't even tell you what actually happened today to reinforce that whole, you know, Canadians just say sorry to each other no matter what thing. I was at the store, you know, buying some stuff, and somebody wanted to get around someone. Someone was standing up in line at the cashier. And um, somebody walked by and they kind of brushed up against each other. And they were, one guy was like, oh, sorry, buddy. And the other guy was like, yeah, sorry. And then they just moved out of the way and then life went on. And it just made me smile. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's the Canadians, all right. And, and if you don't already know this, I'm from Newfoundland. And um, Canadians always talk about how nice Newfoundlanders are. So it's kind of like, um, we're like double nice. You know, we're the cream of the crop. We're the cream of the cream of the crop. We're the nicest people in the nicest in the nicest country. Something like that. I don't know, man. There's plenty there's plenty of rude Canadians, okay? I have plenty of stories of people who are just not nice. There are just bad people everywhere. Okay? It doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna find bad people who aren't nice. 
Come on, guys. Can we just finish this up here now? There's so many damn hyenas. I'm gonna shut up until the end of this level. Unless, of course, there's a boss or something that pops out. That's not gonna be good. Look at this. We got one hyena left, guys. If we can just get this guy... Oh, here comes another one. Of course. And here comes another robot. It's just, it's a really slow process if you don't have the right loadout on. And this was obviously my first try at it, so that's why I don't have the right loadout. Anyway, shutting up again, just for the sake of your sanity, because you have to watch this, and it'll be over soon. Okay, we're finally hitting the base, so obviously that's gonna hopefully make short work of them. You know, as long as we can hit the base, we're already moving forward, you know, as you could tell. Slowly getting there, slowly taking out the taking out the enemies and yeah we don't have very much left there's no boss it seems which is totally okay with me good night wait good night okay i was like is it gonna end or what got some gold baby guys i always forget to do the gamma toto thing okay i always forget hey listen gamma toto go for a walk okay where should you go gamma toto maybe the kara kara marsh yeah you can get treasure radars there and those are 45 cat food each, so it's not bad to, you know, get them there instead of buying them. I bought so many treasure radars recently, you know? And as I mentioned in the video, it only costs um, 45 cat food for a treasure radar. And then you can play a stage that costs 100, cat, uh, 100 energy, you know? So if you divide up by the amount of cat food that is, it's about 5 cat food per run, plus 45. So 50 cat food to get a million XP, whereas... If you, uh, if you want to buy a million XP in the store, it costs 900 cat food. Would you rather spend 900 or 50? You tell me. The answer is you'd rather spend 50. <laughs> and that's why I have 23.7 million experience points. Okay, so we got through that one. That was good. Let's keep it going. Catharsis is end. Um, listen, if we see, if we see things that are going to be difficult in this one, I'm going to back out, okay? Because I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to do what I just did again. That was really annoying. Let's actually just test the stage out. Let's uh, dip our feet in the water by sending out a giraffe. Go, giraffe, go. Another one. Oh, more of these guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. Look at all these ones. We can get a lot of... Uh, we can get a lot of XP from this, I would imagine. We'll just keep leveling up. Sending out those giraffes. Obviously, after we send out the giraffe, something bad is going to happen. But why does that matter, right? That's cool with me. Hey, now we're already at level 8. So... Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of these guys. But we got a lot of drafts as well. Okay. And we're pretty much all the way up. So I'll send out Sodom. And the other guys are really fast. So I don't want to send them out because you never know what's going to happen after that. There's going to be a in a second. Just wait for it. Wait for the expl... Whoa! Exploded! Wait, you guys didn't do anything. What the hell was that about? Are you going to do something? This is a silly one, isn't it? Okay. Well, look. We got Awakened Bahamut. Maybe Bahamut can do something. Maybe I should send out... Um, Maybe I should send out everything. Okay, I was only I was only spamming a little bit. Oh, shit. Okay, so here we go. That's not bad. A guy like that. I don't care about a guy like that. Okay, I could have timed that a little bit better so that Awakened Bahamut could have hit that guy. Or hit the, hit the, you know, the tower or something. He's just, he's almost hitting it. He's so close. Okay, they took him out. What? Wait, come on. Really? Megadora, you're not doing it? That's okay. Megadora. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so he did do it. It's almost over now. I thought this was going to be a difficult one with all the little dudes coming out. And I was really expecting some floating people soon. Or some really fast birds or something. Okay? And you remember that level with the assassin bears in it? Did I show you guys that one? See, because I recorded it and I showed people the assassin, bear, assassin bears thing. I didn't like the video. It was such a boring video that I didn't put it up. And then I recorded it the next day. And that's why Battle Cats went up on a Monday. And I think earlier I said it went up on a Sunday. But I'm sure you got the idea. Okay? Because it always goes up on Sunday except for that one time. Okay, now this is getting really stupid. We need to put more Paris in here. That's what we need to do. Actually, I think I'm going to start putting on cat CPUs so I can, you know, take a break from tapping every once in a while. You know, I mean, when you're tapping as much as I'm tapping, oh, hey, it's over. All right, I like that. When you're tapping as much as I'm tapping, guys, sometimes you're going to need a break. And I might have to record for, I don't know, almost an hour and a half. Luckily, I can look over here and see how much I'm talking. And I can see, hey, like I took a, hmm, like a three minute break from talking. So I got to add on at like three minutes. Plus it took me a few minutes to actually start the video. It took me about a minute and a half to start the video. So that's another amount off. Anyway, doesn't matter. We don't need to talk about the, the process of making the video. We're making the video right now. Okay. And we're going to get that little Neandum today, guys. And it's going to be good.
Okay, up next we got Black Premonition. Before we go into Black Premonition, guys, I am gonna put her up here, okay? And nothing I've prepared for has come out so far, but somehow I'm still doing it. Here's the cat CPU, just to give me a little break, as I mentioned. Okay, what is up? Sure, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm just gonna watch you do your thing, okay? Hmm. It's you'd never know what the cat CPU is gonna do, guys. Um, but I think the cat CPU for that stage that I did and farmed XP on, they only screwed it up once. There's only one time where they weren't gonna win. And I think I just quit the game. I think I just quit the game and got back in, you know? Doing the old spammy tricks. That's me. Okay, so it'd be nice to have a ring girl cat here, wouldn't it? Because these guys are kind of tough, I guess. Oh, well, we can just keep punching them. It's all good. Oh, there you go. Okay, so no more cat CPU, because I need to actually work on a little bit of a strat here. It might be too late for a strat. I'm not really sure. Come on, Paris. Knock him down. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get super hurt here, Perry. Okay, so. There's a lot of black guys here. There's a lot of black guys and they don't look like they want, they don't look like they want me to feel good. They look like they want me to feel bad. Okay, um, oh, it's called Black Premonition. I should have known that's what Black Premonition meant. You know, it meant there was gonna be black people here. Hey, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch an ad here. God, these, every single ad, Every single ad in these games is is some sort of like turn-based strategy or a tower defense or a clicker game. It's one of the three. They're always mobile games. Like mobile games have so much money to spend on ads because they make so much money on microtransactions, man. If you take a game like back in the day when it was just flash games, flash games didn't make money. But now with the with the with the whole, you know, app store and all that crap, they make so much money. It's crazy. Like if you if you want to become a millionaire, make the next Flappy Bird, okay? And then make it so that there's energy in it, and then you gotta refill your energy to keep playing, or you gotta like, you know, you either gotta wait or you gotta spend money on it. It's it's crazy. But hey, they're free games, so I guess do what you want, right? <laughs> and then they're putting they're putting it in not free games now too. They're putting it in paid games. You pay so many dollars for a game, then you gotta pay to get loot boxes in them and stuff. Overwatch does that. It's crazy. All right. Well, enough of that. We need to get a little bit of an anti-black loadout going here. So let's see. Look, I'm not I'm not an amazing Battle Cats player, as I already said at the beginning of this video. So who knows if my strats are gonna be the best strats. Jiangshi's coming out though. Okay. Jiangshi's coming out and Ring Girl is going in. Love me a good bomber cat ring girl combination, guys. I used to use um uh, Robocat. Robocat's a good cat too. It knocks back black, but it's better to stop them. So, yeah, Bomber Cat's gotta be my favorite out of all of them. And he's so hard to get. He's, he only appears on, what is it, like the second at 222? Something crazy like that. So, you can only try and get him once a month, but he's super useful to have. Um, other than that, I guess I'll wanna put something else anti-black in, perhaps. I don't think, I don't think, um, Sodom is really doing all that much, you know? So, let's go with something else here. Hmm. I haven't used Nurse in a while, you know? And I'm thinking what we should probably do is we should get Nurse up all the way, okay? Because I got that money now and I can do it. Where, where, okay, there you are. Yeah, let's put Nurse in because it's been a while and she's good. Okay, I've used her a lot in the past, but it's been a while since I've used her. So why don't we just go ahead and do a little bit of an upgrade for her, okay? Here we go, Nurse. Gonna give you some monies. Oh, it's so expensive for that last of 1.5 million. Level cap you up one? I don't know. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one level cap upgrade, okay? Because it's pretty cheap to give her XP after that. Until it gets up to like, you know, 39, and then the last upgrade is super expensive again. I don't know how high those guys can go though. Is it is it 40? Maybe level 40 is the highest they can go. Doesn't matter. What matters is that we get little Neandum, so let's keep going. Black premonition! Here we go. Okay. Mm so, gonna start with meat shields. Probably, oh, hey, yeah, you, you're still here. I forgot. You go away, all right? We're gonna start with meat shields, we're gonna save up money, then we'll send out the anti-blacks when we need to. Look, Ring Girl Cat is amazing at stopping those gorillas, man. One hit and they are dead. Right, unless there's a group. I think I think they die in one hit, though. Okay, so. I'm just gonna let him plow through the meat shields for, for a few seconds. Send out the bomber cat with some meat shields, like that, with Ring Girl and Paris. Now he can stop, perhaps, or die. Either one is fine, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna level up again, because I, I, I don't want these guys to, um, 
you know, I don't want them to max out my wallet. That wouldn't be good. There we go. We got one gone. Send in another Paris. They're getting stopped. She just took that guy out. Level up again. Looking good. Oh, here comes these guys. These guys are a little bit harder, right? I believe. Not as bad as the otters. Gave him a good smack. Second ring girl is coming. You need to stay away. Okay. That, that was probably a good time to use that. I want to keep them off of me so we can move on. Okay. So give it, give it a hit. Come on. Don't knock them back, Paris. Why are you so good at knocking back? It's not even one of your things. It's not even one of your claims to fame, is it? Just seems to be a thing. Okay. Here we go with Nurse. Okay. I don't know what we're going to get here, but there's a third ring girl coming out. Another bomber cat. Hello. Oh, sugar on my nipples. Okay. Um, not sure how I feel about this. I mean, the ring girl can do quite a bit of damage here. You know, and if we can get rid of these guys, which we seem to be doing. Oh, we're actually freezing. We're actually freezing Black Bun Bun. That's good to know. I was afraid that wasn't going to happen. How about, how about this guy? How about Megadora as well? I think that'll be nice. And we also have Nurse. So between Nurse and Megadora, should be able to knock him back enough to get him here. Uh, it's just an elephant in the back too. And he moves a bit slower. So we got to try and take these guys out before it's too late. We're very close to the elephant. If we could actually get to the elephant and freeze it, that'd be nice. Okay. Uh, you guys need to... Oh, that, not, that knocked back as well. Unfortunately, that means they're like behind the elephant, but that's okay. I think this is going well. Cat CPU, take it away. I'm not doing this. There's so much tapping to do now, and it's so tedious. And this is why you want cat CPUs. And luckily, as I said, they're fairly cheap. You know, it's only... Uh, guys, it's less than 10 cat food each. So, yeah. Obviously, you're not going to use them for every level, but when you want when you want to just take a break like this, it's a, it's a good time to use it. Okay, so uh, our only anti-black is um, is Nurse. She's probably going to die, I guess. Is she, is she going to die? No, she's not going to die yet. Oh, shit, there's a lot of otters coming. Well, damn. Well, we got a lot of money, which means we can stack the Parises. I'm a little bit worried that they're going to get uh, Nurse here. Look, it's got to be over soon, right? Just keep them, keep them out of the way. Keep them frozen. Uh, was that an Awakened Bahamut? Did you just do an Awakened Bahamut? No? He's not back yet. Okay, cool. Look, they're not moving towards us. I don't think they might, but they ain't doing it yet. It would also be nice to have a speed up here, I guess. You know? I mean, we don't want to waste all day. We don't want to waste all day watching this either. I don't know, man. I guess, like, I can afford to waste all day. I mean, I'm here for one hour, guys. What else am I gonna do? I can't believe it's already been a half an hour, though. I might need to, you know, calm down. I might need to take it a little bit slower. Oh, look at that guy. He got me He got me good that time. He actually got a nice few smacks on me. I thought he wasn't going to be able to get them. But, yeah, they were, like, perfectly timed. I hate it when that happens. Oh, there's a second nurse. Oh, that's good because the first nurse is dead. Nobody likes a dead nurse. Not very helpful. Not very heartfelt anymore when you're dead, I guess. I'll just do it, okay? Should I do it? I don't know. I don't, I don't leave it up to the... Uh, I don't leave it up to the cat CPU to decide when to do that, okay? Because <laughs> cat CPU doesn't know when to use the uh, doesn't know when to use the cat cannon. It's just it's just this guy left now, so we're okay. We're gonna oh, we're gonna do it. I'm just I'm touching metal things over here, trying to make noise. You know, that's always good. All right. Well, look, we already know what the outcome is here. I'll see you at the end of the stage. Okay. So we took out the elephant. Now it's just the rest of them. They decided to use the cannon. Nice, I guess. We got en we got enough uh, bomber cats here. I don't think they're gonna do too much to us. But there's a there is still quite a few black dudes coming out. So I mean, it is taking a little bit longer than I expected because they all kind of rushed out. But hey, we got giraffe. Giraffe is. Uh, I guess I'd rather have. Is there there are other there's other cats that are just as fast as giraffe, right? Maybe some of the manic ones are. I'm not really sure. Giraffe is good because you know it fills the gap. As soon as there's a gap, they fill the gap, which stops them from coming towards you. And now we're at the thing. We've got to waken Bahamut for that, which is really nice because obviously he makes short work of everything. If you knock him back, he just tries extra hard. You know, comes right back again. It's weird. It's the only it's the only unit in the game where um, they're it's like their their attack has a cooldown on it. But once you once you interfere with that, they go right back to attacking again. Usually, they still gotta wait. Like if you know if a if any other Uber doesn't attack and they get knocked back afterwards, they still need to wait a few seconds before doing their attack again. I believe. I don't know. And Ultraland, I wanted to say that was true with Ultraland, but if you touch Ultraland, he dies. I'm pretty sure, like always. <laughs> if, if if his feet, if you get to his feet and you start hitting him in the feet, it's all over. All right, we're getting there, guys. Dead and night. I don't even know, like, where is, which, which stage is St. Red Fox? Sounds scary, doesn't it? 
And and I only just realized that Lil Neandum is the is the miniature version of the guy in the chair. You know, the guy in the chair. By the way, I'm wearing my ceremonial cat shirt today. I didn't mention that. It was supposed to go in the beginning of the video. Oh great, anti-angel is gonna be needed here. Might as well quit the battle before anything bad happens. Um, I'm just gonna send Zeus in, I guess. Let me see, is, is Zeus all the way up yet? Cause like now that I got all this XP, I don't mind getting my Ubers to the to the top. All right, it's 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 not always nice having an Uber, you know, at level at level 27 when they could be a level 30. Even though it's taken my XP down really hard, but I don't need it all. I would imagine, you know. All right, dead end night. See what happens here. Broken mask. Bam. I'm a dumbass. I'm a complete dumbass. I upgraded him, but I didn't put him in. Wow, okay, hold on. I think one of the worst decisions I've ever made in this game was getting Juliet all the way to level 30 in her true form or whatever, because she's just so slow. She gotta get right up close with him, and then she has a really slow attack. So by the time she does it, she's been knocked back. So she doesn't do it, you know? Uh, so I don't wanna put her in. Oh, Cosmo. 100% knockback versus floating in angels. Oh, this guy would actually be really cool to have. And you know what, guys? I think we should do it. Okay, I think we should get Cosmo up because with all this XP, it's like, why not? You know, why not go get Cosmo? Hey, Cosmo! Cosmo, we want you. Okay, we gotta try you out. You might be really helpful with these angels. Okay, so up you go. And up you go again. And I won't actually bring him all the way up because I don't really want to spend that last couple million for now, okay? Uh, he's gonna be good. He's gonna be good at his current stage. And I was worried there might be some floating. I was gonna put a Materatsu in there and Zeus. I'm thinking now I might just put um, put Cosmo in instead of a Materatsu. We'll see how it works. It's not a big deal. So Cosmo is only good in situations where you have a big front line and a lot of stuff going on. You know? Uh, well, there, there is, it's obviously a lot of levels that have that, but yeah, I don't know if this one will. So, oh, hey, slow down now. We don't need that. Well, <laughs> we might need it. Let's let's just send out these guys for now so we can save up some money. And I'll put a few into the levels, and then we'll just... Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here comes the little idiots. Great. It's always good when the little, little idiots come, you know. I really badly need Zeus here, guys, and I, I do have him. You know, obviously he's coming, but I don't know. Do I have enough time to actually grab him? Come on. Don't hurt my base. Come on, Zeus. Hurry. There you go, buddy. Come on. Yes, okay, that knocked them all back. We got some good levels here. We're gonna send out a few things to keep them away. And I just, I love that, that was good. That was so good, the way he just took everything out there. I'm gonna put Cosmo out now, okay? Oh, slow down, Cosmo! Um, you got a pretty long range attack, so that's okay, I guess. You do your dance. Oh, shit! Okay, Cosmo, this is a level for you, okay? This one is gonna be a little bit crazy because they got the, they got the angel horse thing. So I just keep calling it the angel horse thing. No, I look up names sometimes, but, you know, who's got time to call things by the proper name when you can call them angel horse thing? So many angels here. Holy crap. Well, look, I'm stacking Parises, okay? And cat CPU. It's time to roll. Okay, um, well, Awaken Bahamut. I don't know how long he's gonna last, but he's good for now. Hey, Cosmo, you doing a Cosmo? He does, he just did a Cosmo. I like that. We gotta move up close enough to get this guy up here. You know, this is actually going really well. I gotta say, I'm, I'm liking it. Cosmo is still way in the back, so he's fine. I don't think we gotta worry about him at all. We just gotta watch it happen. Here he comes with another dance. He's doing the dance. Do it, Cosmo! Oh yeah! Okay, so that knocks him back, gives us a chance to move in so that we can start attacking. Of course, that does hurt our dudes a lot, but that's okay. You know, we got, we got lots of dudes. Okay, uh, cat CPU, I don't know if I should keep it on now because we don't actually have enough stuff. You know, you know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know what the cat CPU is even doing now. Oh, saving up for Jamira, eh? All right. Well, look out, cause shit's. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was that was pretty much all we needed, guys. The rest should be pretty good. Uh, Zeus. Zeus is resistant to angels, so that's why he hasn't died from this fish yet. And Cosmo is not gonna die because he's in the back, which I've said multiple times now. And it's great, okay? It's the only thing there is that fish, so you know Cosmo should be targeting him, except for the fact that he got knocked back then. Huh. Okay. Oh, Cosmo! No! Those sons of bitches killed Cosmo! Not my Cosmo! Okay, well, look, Zeus is still doing his thing here. I don't know what the, I don't know what the, 
the cat CPU is doing, guys. But we're actually, we were hitting the base, which was nice. Zeus is actually full on attacking this guy now. Uh, it would be nice to have, crap, what's her name? Valkyrie. Valkyrie would be really cool here because of, the... oh, hey, that's, that's what's cool here right now. Awaken Bahamut. One more? No, not one more. He's still alive though. That's good. Okay. This guy's a little bit tricky. We've dealt with him before in other levels. Up in the Heavenly Tower and such. Oh, and Cosmo's back. Welcome back to the club, Cosmo. You're a little bit late. You know, things things went good and we didn't really need you. Oh, so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. He's got a really cool attack. I gotta say, I like that a lot. Does he have a true form? I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. Whatever. All right, so that level was over. That was a good level. I gotta say, I like that a lot. I like the cat CPU taking care of all that for me. That was a good loadout. Proud of that one. Okay, keep going. Let's see what's next. Hmm, a gapes cage. What? Okay, cool. It's fine. Oh shit, okay, here comes the floating. We can't, we can't be doing that. We gotta get a new loadout now that's anti-floating. It's time, guys. Wait, Cosmo was good against floating too, right? Cosmo? Cosmo, you a good dude, right? Yeah, 100% knockback versus floating and angels, so I think we might actually keep Cosmo for fun. We'll just replace Zeus with Megadora, and I think that'll be nice. And we do need some anti-floating, but I got a lot of anti-floating units, so let's see what the best ones to put in here are. Hmm. Yeah, uh, as I mentioned, I might want to take uh, Valkyrie back, because she, she freezes stuff, you know? So she's good. She can freeze everything, right? Yeah, everything with a trait except for metal gets frozen by her, which is it's really good to have, okay? I haven't had her in the in the loadout in a little bit. Dr. Cat's gonna be okay to have here, I think. And we need something to do some good damage, I suppose. Hmm. Huh, we have the, I mean, obviously we have, you know, our Ubers for that. I could possibly put Kai in here as well. We'll see what, we'll see how the boss is. We'll see if we need to make any changes to anything. I know that Catman is a good one as well. And now I have enough XP, I can finally get Catman to his, you know, his, um, his highest level and stuff. Sadeko is good, but Sadeko is just for weakening. And right now it seems like we just need to take out a lot of, um, a lot of floating things. So the best way to do that is, it might even be just to have a lot of Parises. That might help a lot, you know. Hmm. I don't see anything else that's really gonna do much here. We need a good area attack, but Megadora can take care of that if we can just take care of the the things at first. So we just need to get rid of uh, we just need to get rid of Ring Girl here. We don't need her. She's anti-black, and we are working on floating. Kator, maybe we'll put Kator in. We haven't used him in a while. Okay, so let's uh, let's go for it. That's the loadout. That's what we're doing. I don't know what's in this level, but it don't matter. It's all good. Let's see it. It's just a whole bunch of these guys. And they, of course... Oh, no, 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 no. CPU, you can't do that. Okay? You're not wanted here. I will turn you on when I need you. Thank you. Okay, so this guy... This guy can take a little bit of damage before they get him. Which is cool. Um, hmm. What's the best thing to do here? Probably to get a, uh, get a this guy. Because he's, he's good. Whoa, nice work, dude. I'm just going to let you... Oh, God. Of course, Cory is here, guys. It wouldn't be a level without Cory, right? Oh, and a dog. Shit. Okay, this is getting... It's getting worse, you know? So, we got that floating head. I'm not really worried about the floating head, honestly. I'm going to send out Awaken Bahamut as soon as that guy's taken out. Bam. And here he comes. Okay. Because that's, that's going to obviously help with some things. Get him again. We want it. We want to do our best on on this guy, you know. Oh, nice. Okay. See, he can't. He couldn't even get to me, which is which is really good. And I guess Cosmo would probably be a good option here, because Cosmo will knock back some things. He might be able to do a little bit of damage. I don't really know. Oh, Cosmo, let me get some things in front of you, bro. You don't want to be. You don't want to be here like this, bro. You're a, you're a real long ranger. You're a real long ranger, Cosmo. Okay, we got, we got our people out here. Yeah, so he can actually take out those birds in one hit. So he might be a good way to, to get rid of that buffer. We can get uh, we can get Awaken Bahamut in there again. Of course, there's another Cory coming. What would be a level without another Cory in it? God. Okay, it's fine. It's no big deal. So we mostly just have traitless, traitless um, shockwave makers here. But we got a lot of Paris. I don't even think I'm going to put out... I don't think I'm gonna put out any meat shields anymore because the meat shields just trigger the trigger the bite, you know? That just makes things worse. So, yeah. So Cosmo, you just 
get get the birds away from us, okay? Eh, that'll be fine. That'll be your due diligence done. Yeah, I just I, if I have meat shields here, it's gonna make this guy attack a little bit more. So I just assume it'd be best not to have them. See, he's gotta walk towards them, and if he bites them all and they move back, that's fine. You know, because then he's gotta walk towards them again. They get lots of hits on them. There's another Cory and another one of these ones coming. Okay, it's time to bring out the big boys. Get out of my life. Okay, maybe maybe you gotta try harder. Oh shit, I just realized Cosmo's gone. Well, that's a sad one. I didn't want Cosmo to go. Well, we can we can get Cory anyway, which is cool. Oh, look at that, he's moving up. He's moving up to die. That's not good. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think it's time for a cat CPU. We got all our Ubers taken care of until, go until Cosmo comes back, but... At this point, it's just do a lot of stuff, you know, and uh, that guy got knocked back and and um, and slowed, which was nice. With Megadora, this guy, this giant slow head is no big deal whatsoever, you know, because he the fact that he moves so slow means if you if you knock him back and slow him, it's gonna take him a million years to get back again. Just the knockback alone is bad enough, but then you add insult to injury, salt that wound up a little bit, you know, good stuff. Of course, it is gonna be a little bit of a, an annoyance here, having this guy. You know, because then Megadora is gonna get knocked back and ugh. Okay, well, it's back to it's back to Paris's. Okay, we need those Paris's. If we could maybe take out the dog, that'd be great. Doggo, you gotta go. You gotta go, Doggo. Okay, that's cool. We got another Cosmo here now, guys. Cosmo will make sure that the giant head doesn't hurt anybody that much. Okay, there goes <laughs> there goes that guy. We need we need awakened Bahamut, cause cause that guy is ready. Get, oh god, there's another one? Really? That's just annoying, man. That just means I gotta spend extra long on this level. Jeez. And with this damn dog here again, that's gonna be extra stupid. Okay, and another Cory. God, this is so annoying, isn't it? Well, I gotta save that Awakened Bahamut, okay? I gotta save him for later. I don't even need any meat shields here now. I don't know why I put some out. Cosmo, don't you hurt yourself. Very important that you don't do that, Cosmo. Oh god, that's the shockwave gets him. Wow. So Cosmo is no good here. That's good to know for next time. We can we can try something else. Perhaps Sodom. I don't know. Clearly, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, guys. I didn't mean to put Megadora out here. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. Now we're going to put out Awaken Muhammad because he's going to knock back Cory. Cory is dead. Harris, you need to take out those guys because we need to... Oof! He's not dead. He's not dead. I thought he was going to die, but he didn't. And... Oh, he's still not dead. Jeez. Okay. Well, that's good. Maybe if we could stop him so he doesn't do any attacks. Moving him back is cool, but it also led me right into his mouth. So thanks a lot for that one. All right, look, cat CPU is back on again. I'm taking a break. All right, we're doing it. We got we got through these heads. There's only one more head to go. Look, we're at it. We're here. We're good to go. Awakened Bahamut was just summoned. That's cool. Uh, is he far enough behind the base that he won't hurt us? I think he can chew Awaken Bahamut a couple times anyway, so that's cool. That's it's all good. By the time he gets another shot off, we'll we'll have him killed. That's good. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, I was wrong, but it's okay, cause we have done it. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Feathers and coal and gold. I love it. Okay, we're still going here. Dead and night. Saint Red Fox, guys, we're here. How good is this working out right now? It's working out so good, man. Just doing a little bit of strategy. I can feel my voice going a little bit. Mm. It's not easy to talk for an hour straight. Usually I try and shut up. Like, I know I have a talking problem. It's not the worst problem in the world to have, but I talk a lot, okay? I could talk off anybody's face. You give me a person who talks a lot, I'll out talk them. Okay, we're ready. We're ready for this. Saint Red Fox. Now, is it a guaranteed chance to get him or not? Doesn't matter, we'll do it. We gotta get the strat down first. Probably not the right way to do it. And what I'm doing right now, but that's okay. Take that CPU off. That's all that matters. Okay, really? The first thing you're gonna send out is a bun bun. That's no fun fun. <laughs> oh wow, this guy's not that powerful. He's having trouble taking out these guys. So I was just hoping that maybe we could get a Megadora in here to slow things down a little bit. You know, put out the double meat shields. That's a good thing. Oh, they're actually knocking this guy back, which is nice. Okay. Not the worst, not the worst situation in the world. Oh shit, that's right, Megadora is a bit more than that, isn't he? Okay, look, here we go, hit him. Yes, okay, we knocked him back. We need Zeus back again, don't we? Okay, this is gonna be an interesting one, isn't it? I don't think I'm gonna need an online strategy for this. I think I can figure it out myself. I figured out the rest of these ones. Um, mostly we just gotta keep him back, you know? We gotta make sure he doesn't come in and screw our shit up. But look, 
He just he, it took him two hits to take down uh, a tank cat or a wall cat. So I can't see it being that bad. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a floating guy, big old floating guy. We got a whole bunch of angels coming in, so that would be a good time to have Zeus for that one. And we also got a little dude in the front who should probably be taken care of with a Catsaurus, I think. So let's let's try that. Okay, so Catsaurus instead of Dr. Cat. That's what we'll do there. Uh, Cator, I mean, I don't even think he mattered at all. So we'll probably just go ahead and take him out. And instead, we'll put in um, a nice heavy hitter, you know? Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I don't know if Cosmo is going to help here. I'm going to take Cosmo out, I think, and maybe put in... I said I was going to do Zeus, but I think I'm Adoratsu, because she does... She's not as resistant to angels, but they're not super difficult angels. We need to just take them out in, in droves, so we just got to do a nice area attack on that. Guys, let's do something a little bit crazy, just for fun, all right? We are going to put out a Adoratsu, and we are going to put out Divine Kai, because Kai is good. We all know that Kai is good. She moves fast. She comes back... Um, Quick. Well, she doesn't move that fast, but um, she does come back pretty quick, and she's she's resistant to floating, so that's good with the bun bun there. We could probably put her out first with a catsaurus, and that would probably be enough to, to do it. Um, but I am going to use a couple of boosts on this one just to get through it. I mean, this is the stage. This is the stage I've been trying to get to. Okay. Um, I didn't realize. I wasn't 100% sure which group this was in. I was just hoping it was this one. And it was right. You think I would prepare a little bit better for a video that's supposed to be an hour long, you know? If I'm going to spend an hour doing something, I'd like to actually get somewhere with it, I guess. But, you know me. If you don't, well, it's me. Okay, it's a, it's a me thing to do. I need to buy some snipers. And I need to buy some rich cats, right? Yeah. There we go. It's all good. Got that cat food for this video. It's all, it's all good, dude. So let's get both. Okay, let's just go all the way on that one. Bam. We can do it. We can do it. So, we want to put some of these ones out. Cat CPU comes off. We're going to save up money really quick here, guys. I'm just going to do, like, the, the whole one, two, one, two thing. You know, it's the best way to keep him keep him on his toes. And we'll send out a Catsaurus now, because by the time he gets there... Um, well, I mean, either way, he's going to have to face the wrath of, of Bun Bun. So, hopefully, Catsaurus can take that guy out sooner than later. Go, Catsaurus, go! Bam! Okay, you didn't do it. That's okay, you got another shot at it. That's good. Still didn't do it. Still did not do it. Okay. Well, uh, we're ready for something. I think we'll go with this one. Because if, if, if we can get a Madaratsu out here now, we can use her to take out the hippos. And then once the hippos have been taken out, we'll get a lot more money for other things. Okay? Uh, I'm going to send out Kai now. She's ready. And then we'll send out Megadora. Ah! Like, this is actually a weak bun bun, dude. I mean... Have you noticed that? I, I told you that he can, he can, um, he needs two hits to get rid of one of those, um, you know, one of those wall cats. So that tells you something. But the fact that she can knock him back every time is a good sign. Now we got that black guy here, which isn't good. That was a nice little hit there. And, hey, it's Lonely Andum! He's coming! So he's a red dude, right? By the look of it. And if he's a red dude, that means we should probably have an eye cat here. Uh, cat CPU, do the trick, dude. I don't think this is going to be a much of a bother at all. Oh, man. It's not often things work out in my favor. And uh, having a one-hour video work out in your favor, that feels extra good. Of course, I mean, at this point, I don't know how much damage this guy is going to do. But he looks super cool and he's got a lollipop. You know? Can't go wrong with a lollipop. That didn't even kill her. So that makes me... That makes me feel pretty good. Oh, we knocked you back, bro. We knocked... We froze you, bro. Get ready, because... Oh, he's going to do his attack. You better... Be, okay, that did a lot of damage. That did some damages. It's okay. We got the cat CPU. We knocked him back. You don't stand a chance, bro. You can't even kill us, bro. What kind of attack is that? Huh? What kind of an attack is that? Hmm. Well, it's, it's just... It seems like mostly just a knockback attack. We don't even need to kill him. We just got to knock him back so we can take out the... Uh, <laughs> take out the the tower but of course okay now there's one of these guys and a whole bunch of them even that's not fun is it well look that was pretty cool that was pretty cool what kai just did she's resistant to that floating so she can do a lot of damage but we do need to have some sort of anti-red here i think it's probably going to be icat you know icat stops all and if this guy is red he looks red if he's red i think it's going to make a lot of difference if we get icat in here i mean i didn't know what was coming i, I knew this guy was coming but you know, I, I guess I could have assumed being Saint Red Fox. You, hey, he's dead. Easy as that. Easy as pie, dude. What are you? Come on. So now it's now it's just just the the elephant. I think Cat CPU can take care of that, right? 
Cat CPU, what are you wasting all your money on? Harris's? No, there's an awakened Bahamut waiting. Ah, you got him. Don't worry about me. You you know what you're doing. <laughs> really seems to know what he's doing here. You know, I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious that there's one unit, one good unit ready to go. They're going to save up for him. Okay, that wasn't, that was uncalled for the elephant guy, Mr. Black Elephant. You don't have to be like that, but you do. Are you guys really not able to just take one of those guys that have seen like no critical hits? All you gotta do is critical hit him. Be nice if, you know, you weren't knocking him out of the way, preventing those critical hits. Those crits are important, okay? Okay, that's good. We did it. Look at that, easy as that, man. I mean, I know I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, but Jesus, they're coming out of the shell, guys. Okay, they're poking their little heads out. They're cheeping at me. All right? It's 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 very late term for these chickens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's over. It is over. I got coal. I got 30 cat food. But I did not get St. Red Fox. We're going to do it again. Let's see, if, the, let's see if, if just the CPU alone can handle it. I don't think it will. Because the CPU is probably going to try some stupid shit. In the beginning, it was nice to have a Amaterasu out there to take out those guys and get us a little bit of extra money, you know. So, next up, we are going to put in the iCat. I think that was pretty much it, wasn't it? So who should I replace here? Honestly, I didn't even see Catsaurus doing that much work. Because those little, those little dog robots, those metal dog things, they're not that great, you know. They're really not that great. Um, but I think if I was going to replace something, it would be... Uh, okay, I'm actually going to do it. Okay, I'm going to replace them. Because I saw like three crits that round. Not enough crits for me. Okay, so let's try it. Let's um, let's see what they will do. If we if we let if we let it just do its thing, okay? Cat CPU, I'm 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 relying on you, dude. And and by the way, oh, I just went to the wrong one, didn't I? By the way, I'm pretty sure we need a treasure radar here, right? Obviously, rare chance. Oh no, I, I thought for a second you could get them in all of them. No, you can't. Uh, these are just unlikely chances to pick up various amounts of of XP. No big deal. Okay, okay. So we are going to. Go ahead and use a, a treasure radar on there. I mean, we might not get it, but I'm gonna buy two treasure radars anyway. So we'll do one we'll do one shot with the treasure radar uh, with the cat CPU doing the work. And if that doesn't work, I'll just do it myself, okay? Let's see it. Let's see it happen. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna get that St. Red Fox. I'm gonna get that little Neandum, as he's called. I don't know, man. The names in this thing are... What a great choice you just made. I can't believe you're so good at making choices. Oh, you almost had him, buddy. Keep it, keep trying. Okay, what are you gonna send out here? Okay, oh yes, respect that one. That one makes a lot of sense, except for the fact that there's currently a, look, send out a Paris at least, okay? Knock him back a little bit. I was hoping maybe you could knock the other guy back. I gotta help, okay? I can't, I can't just stay here and not help. I can't be complacent. He's not even doing anything, man. He's just hitting her, but his his attack is so weak. Plus, she has that resistance. It's not really doing much. Okay, yeah, look, I helped a little bit. It wasn't enough. You can't always trust that cat CPU to come through for you, okay? Hey, robot, get out of here. You need to move so we can hit. Oh, here we go, got him. Okay, so he is red. That's really good to know. I mean, like I said, Saint Red Fox, obviously he's red, but still it's it's good to know that he he does have a red trait because obviously we're not going to get the red trait we just froze him and the head we can do it again if there wasn't things in the way of course which there are whatever cat cpu can handle it you know that's what i've been saying for years i think it's just going to be a little bit longer than it needs to be because cat cpu is making bad decisions i think well there's no decision to make besides spam so i guess that's good look better than having to do things myself that's what i always say I'll just wait. Okay, this is it. This is the grand finale of the hour-long Battle Cats video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was nice just listening to me ramble on. People really enjoyed the Duck Life one, and that's all I did was just say stupid shit for an hour. They were like, hell yeah, Matt. We watched the hell out of that. Watch time is way up, obviously, because it's so long. And I stuck a bunch of ads in there, and there's going to be a bunch of ads in this one. Okay, I got to make it worth my time. I'm losing my voice over this. Okay? God, pay me. <laughs> okay, we unlocked a special cat. Good stuff. We gotta check this guy out now, though. Okay, obviously we gotta check this guy out. So let's go to upgrade. Special cats. 
We got him, guys. So what is he good at? Uh, it seems like he's going to be a good knockbacker. So he's not even red now, which is kind of lame, but also kind of cool. So yeah. A quantum blip transformed Neandum into a toddler with a super old face. Creeps everyone out for real. Yeah, it kind of does. Sometimes slows enemies. Area attack. So yeah, he's got that slow. And it works on everybody, including metal. Most things don't work on metal. I believe it works on metal, right? Yeah, okay. Sometimes you can't really tell if it's blacked out because it's already gray. Anyway, uh, and that's an area attack. So let's go ahead and acquire him. Level him up with all this XP that we got. There. Now he's Dark uh, dark Emperor Cat Dam. Damn, bro. That's a nice cat. So, now he doesn't have a lollipop. Now he has something else. I can't really see. He's holding on to something, right? All right. Well, let's level him up again. I want I want this guy to be buffed out, dude. Buff it out. Yeah. Okay. He is as expensive as an Uber to upgrade. And now I'm down to only 9 million XP, guys. I've, I've upgraded a lot of cats today. No regrets, okay? This video paid for all those cat upgrades. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know where to take this guy. I'm just gonna take him to the next level. I'm gonna take him to a whole nother level. <laughs> okay, battle royale. And let's just go ahead and pop him in instead of someone. Pop him in instead of Kai. How about that? Just wanna see him in action. Okay, I wanna see this guy. Wait, he's not an Uber. Keep forgetting. I refer to them as Ubers. I, I, you've probably heard me refer to like Bahamut as an Uber. And, uh, well, Uber Run. I don't use Uber Run. I probably could, but I just never got around to really getting a feel for her. I guess, you know, it is a her. Yeah, even when she wears a mask, she's still a she. Okay, so let's put you in here. You're 4350, that's cool. You're actually in the right place. I like to arrange them by, by cost. That's just how it is, okay? So. Probably don't need that apple there. I don't care. Okay, I just wanna, I just wanna see what's gonna happen. Also, I think I lock stuff. So what's on right now? Just, just that too. Okay. Well, let's not have that happen because I want to see this guy. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Got one of these. So he knocks back and slows everything, or just slows them. Is that it? Whatever. He does the thing. This is a really slow character. So it'll be a great time to actually try him out. They'll be extra slow when he's done with them. Hmm. Okay. Here he comes! Look at that guy. Holy crap, he's holding a cat! Dude, you're holding a cat, dude! What's that about? I love it! <laughs> okay, well. I want to see him in action now. What's, what kind of range does he have? He's not a ranged unit. He's obviously not a long range for sure, but he's got to have some range to him, right? I'm sure he's got at least a little bit of power. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yes! Okay, so you didn't knock back him. You knocked back everything else. Well, you killed it, I think. Okay, I'm gonna send you in. Okay, stop it. Stop doing that. Don't you dare. No, 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 no. You hurt a lot. You're such a, you're such a bird. You bird. Okay, well, look. I'd like it if it was actually working a little bit here, but it's not. Don't kill him. You're not supposed to kill him. He's my new best friend. Jeez. Okay, these guys are really annoying, aren't they? Huh. All right, well, hey, Amaterasu's coming. You guys, you barked up the wrong tree, okay? And now that tree is gonna, it's gonna shed its leaves all over you. It's the equivalent of, a, of getting shit on, okay? You're gonna get shit on by Mother Nature now. Cory, Cory, you need to stop. Cory, you're being very inappropriate, Cory. You just got slapped by Awakened Bahamut, and guess what? It killed you, Cory. You're dead now, Cory. This is what you get, Cory. Okay, I think we're gonna actually complete this level. That's cool. I don't know how far I can actually get in these things, guys. I haven't been focusing on it lately, as you can tell. And now I am, because obviously I just got him. And I'm glad, because he was just... He was always there tempting me. So what's there now? Whoa! That's a sexy cat in a dress! <laughs> okay. This one's gonna be a long time from now. Learn to love. Clear learn to love for a chance to get the special unit, Red Riding Mina. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty cool. Well, guys, I think I uh, I think I did what I needed to do. I'll probably trim a little bit extra off this. There's gonna be a few jump cuts in it anyway, you know. So it's probably good to go a little bit over because it means that I can cut out a little bit of the shit that I don't need to put in there, just for your own sake, you know. But either way, you just spend an hour watching me play a game, guys. Come on, <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. Okay, uh, it really flatters me that people push for hour-long videos so hard. Okay, and usually I'd say, hey, I'm not gonna do that because. Nobody's gonna watch it or whatever, but people watched the last one. 
Battle Cats is popular. I'm sure people are going to see hour long Battle Cats video and be interested in clicking on it. Okay, so yeah. No, once again, guys, thank you. Thank you for enjoying this series. I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. Who knows in the future, I might get bored of it, but for now, you guys are still having a good time. It's the only series on my channel that consistently does well. Like, without fail, this video is going to be one of my like top viewed videos of the week. You know, a Battle Cats video, especially this one. I don't know. It could be, it could get more views than normal. It could get less views than normal. You never know. I don't understand YouTube, okay? I just understand my audience a little bit. And my audience keeps saying, hour long Battle Cats video. So the question is, what's coming next, guys? What are you going to make me do an hour long video on next? Hmm. I don't know if there's anything that's popular enough on my channel besides Duck Life and Battle Cats. But hey, I'm going to stop the video. I re my, really, though, I mean it. My throat is starting to get a bit shit, okay? We're done. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!